Hi guys, welcome back to Online English Guru channel. In today's class, we are going to start a fresh series on English literature. And today we are going to focus on the university wits. And in today's class, we are going to focus on Marlowe, John Lilly, George Pile, Thomas Kidd, Robert Green, and Thomas Nash. And you are watching it on Online English Guru. If you are watching for the first time, please subscribe the channel and click on the bell icon. And if you want to get the PDF of these notes, please join our new telegram group. That's Raman, not Raman, online English tutorial group where you get PDF notes of English literature. Let's begin our class. Let's move on. At first, we are going to learn about university wits. Who are university wits? University wits are a set of professional group or we can say a professional set of literary men like Marlowe who was a central son, Lily, Green, Pele, Large and Nash. They performed, they brought plays which are very significant in the history of English literature. Friends, this video is going to help those who are preparing for English literature and if you are preparing for UGC net, KSET and other competitive exams, this video is going to help you a lot. And let's begin our uh, class with Christopher Marlowe. You can say Christ Christopher Marlowe. He was a son of a shoemaker and you can see that he was baptized on 26th February 1564 at Canterbury, Kent, England and he died on 30th May 1593 that is at the age of 29 at Kent, England. His uh, period can be traced from 1564 to 1593 and he belonged to the movement that is called literary movement English Renaissance Theatre and he was a contemporary of Shakespeare and he wrote a lot of works and he wrote in blank verse uh, he was very very famous for his blank verse and we are going to focus on his major and minor works in today's class. Friends, here you can see that uh, the dramas attributed to Marlowe were Dido and Queen Catherine. Uh, these were are believed to have been his first. Uh, it was performed by the children of Chapel, a company of boy of actors between 1587 and 93. These uh, plays Dido and Queen Catherine were performed at that time and we can easily say that but uh, his famous play which one his first play was Tamburlain the Great. Uh, it is his play which was published in 1587. It is published in 1587 and it is performed on regular stage. It is the story about conqueror Taimur who rises from Shefford to Warlord. It is among the first English plays uh, in blank verse and with Thomas Kidd's Spanish tragedy. Generally considered beginning of a mature phase of Elizabethan theatre. Tamburline was success and was followed by Tamburline the Great Part 2. The two parts of Tamburline were published in 1590. You have to remember the dates as well. 1590 was a date where the two parts of Tamburline were published. All 
all marlowe's other works were published posthumously you have to remember all these things uh, this is the only work which was published in his lifetime all other works were published after his death the sequence of writing of his four plays is known unknown and all deal with controversial themes the jeeva of malta here you can see the jeeva of malta which was first published as the famous tragedy of rich of jeeva of malta it is about jeev ba barbas a barbarous revenge uh, against the city authorities has a prolong delivered by a character representing mishavali it was probably written in 1589 it was written in 1589 okay friends and first performed in 1592 it was first performed in 1592 the play was uh, very very popular at that time and next important play his play was edward second edward second he was his historical play and it is about the deposition of a king edward second by his barons and the queen who resist the undue influence the king's favorites have in court and the state affairs the play was entered in register on july 6 1593 after his death you can say after 5 weeks of his death the full title of this play is the troublesome reign and lamentable death of edward the second king of england with the tragical fall of proud mortimer next he wrote a work which was a short work the massacre of paris uh, which which is very short it was on the events of the saint bartholomew's day massacre in 1572 later we can uh, focus on his work dr fosters the tragical history of dr fosters uh, it was based on the german faust busch was first dramatized version of faust legend a scholar dealing with the devil early versions and his version differ in uh, some of the points but you can say it was uh, this uh, tragical history of dr posters uh, was very very impressive and uh, it brought him name and fame and we always recognize his work there as i told dido and queen catherine were his first of the works and uh, hero and leander is his uh, short poem it it was his poem hero and leander it is published in 1598 okay guys and at this time same time uh, george chapman uh, published his poem the passionate shepherd to his love uh, they were the translations from ovid's amos the first book of lucan's farsia these are the some of the works you you can say uh, this is all about christopher marlow next let's move on to john lily friends john lily you can see his picture here uh, he was an english writer poet dramatist a courtier best known Uh, during his life for his uh, his books ephesus the anatomy of wit ephesus and his england these are some of the works you can see ephesus was written in 1579 alexander and camsay uh, probably his best work sappho and fo endomin midas which was written in 1592 Uh, these are the his notable works and his period can be noticed between 1553 or 54 to 16 not 6 and he belonged to the era of literary movement uh, in english renaissance theater 
let us know some of the details of ifs what is ifs it's a peculiar mannered style of english prose it's a prose written by john lily it takes its name from a prose romance by john lily it consists of uh, preciously preciously ornate ornate and sophisticated style employing a deliberate excess literary device uh, antithesis alliterations and rhetorical questions he used alliterations and rhetorical questions in this uh, work a lot and he was famous for his work and uh, very his famous uh, works like midas and endomin brought him fame in his time as well next move on to george pile george pile he was an english translator poet and dramatist who is most noted for his supposed but not universally accepted collaborations with william shakespeare on the play uh, titus andronicus but uh, rare uh, evidence were found that he included he, he collaborated with shakespeare uh, for titus andronicus apart from that he his famous uh, plays were edward first the old wives tale battle of azar arrangement of paris david and bathsheb the troublesome reign of john king of england and he belonged to the english renaissance theater uh, he was born on 25th july 1556 in london and he died on uh, 9th november 1596 at the age of uh, approximately at the age of 40 in london itself and many works uh, were attached to him many attributions were made to him but uh, rarely we get any kind of evidences and his famous works mainly um, the arrangement here we can say i am going to provide you some more details about the ornament of paris which contains an elaborate tribute to the queen uh, at the time queen elizabeth he is a really a court play of a mask order some akin of lily's work but much higher dramatic power and it is a ess- essentially a pastoral or a mask shows his great skill in the variation of meter and if less musical uh, than david bathsheb and Uh, he is known for all of these plays uh, i think in next coming classes i am going to provide you much more detail about george pile let's move on to thomas kidd thomas kidd is known for his uh, famous play spanish tragedy his famous play which was written in 1597 he was a notary a lund he was a son of a london notary received his education at merchant tailors school he is a dramatist and a translator and achieved uh, great popularity with his first work as you know the spanish tragedy which was translated into german and dutch and in which johnson is supposed to have some collaborations ben johnson has some kind of collaboration and he was called as uh, sporting kid and his plays were known for blood and thunder he he brought extravagance in his drama and uh, putting aside his translation putting aside his translation of carnelio tra- spanish tragedy is his only known play his famous play of which one spanish tragedy and uh, other translation works like carlenia uh, soliman and persida arden feversham the householders philosophy these are the translation and his only known play was spanish tragedy let me provide you some of the details uh, his uh, lonely play about his lonely play the spanish tragedy uh, this is a tragedy which is um, which comes under uh, the revenge play and 
he is the person who brought revenge play to english theater the play contains several violent murders and it includes as one of its characters and personification of revenge the spanish tragedy is often considered to be the first mature lgbtn drama a uh, claim disputed with christopher marlowe's tamburlaine christopher marlowe's tamburlaine and spanish tragedy both were considered as the first mature drama on english stage okay guys many elements of the spanish tragedy such as the a play within play used to trap murderer and a ghost intent and vengeance appear in shakespeare's hamlet shakespeare's hamlet has some of the models from this tragedy and it shows its worth let's move and learn about robert green robert green uh, was born on tomland norwich died uh, on not on in september 1592 in london he was english writer dramatist and uh, playwright his famous notable works freer bacon and freer bange the history of orlando furiso a uh, looking glass for london and england the scottish history of james the fourth the comical history of alphonsus the king of argon and uh, his famous play pandasto which was a source for shakespeare's shakespeare's work winter's tale and his autobiography uh, grots grots worth of wit bought with a million repetitions was his uh, famous autobiography and uh, robert green was a writer who called shakespeare uh, an upstart crow beautified with our feathers he called uh, shakespeare as upstart crow and Uh, we have to learn about thomas nash he was uh, he was born on november in november 1567 at low soft united kingdom died in 1601 great yarmouth united kingdom his notable works the famous work we can attach is uh, summer's last will and testament and you can see the chronology of his works there was a great detail of chronology of his works you can find here the anatomy of absurdity a preface to greens menfon almond for parrot a preface to sir philip sydney astrophila and stella a peers penniless a summer's last will and testament uh, which was written in 1600 uh, published in 1600 but written in 1592 a strange news a christ tears over jerusalem a terrors of the night the unfortunate traveler and a have with you to uh, saffron walden asel of dogs and he belonged to the same group of university wits and with this we are concluding our class that's it thank you for watching bye bye keep on waiting for other works